for this conversation, you're going to want to have the Reese catalog open in front of you. So from our manufacturer's uh, link in our page, wherever you find the word manufacturers, find Reese, R-E-E-S-E, -E -E, and then open up their catalog, which is here. And then from here, you'll be able to do a find function on your keyboard. The first item that we spoke about was the S371, I'm sorry, the S371A, um, pardon me, it was just 371A, and you'll be able to follow along. As I mentioned the part numbers, you can then do a find function on your keyboard and continue along with the conversation with the document up in front of you. Thank you. Architectural Builder Supply is pleased to present you with this recording of the technical question that is listed in the title of this video. This call may be monitored and recorded for quality assurance. Okay, um, so I've heard, although I have not seen, that there are some stop strips that are collapsible or kind of spring up. Um, for example, if somebody in a wheelchair rolled over them, do you guys have anything like that? No. Well, <clears throat> a stop strip. Um, no, mm -mm. I'm not familiar with anything that would, would collapse. Um, there are thresholds that have a piece of vinyl or synthetic rubber that have a couple of pieces of aluminum that you secure, or a single piece of aluminum that you secure it down to the uh, ground. Mm -hmm. uh, to the floor, it's called a, thre um, a handicap threshold, and it's a large vinyl bubble, very commonly seen in shower enclosures, um, and that mm -hmm. can be rolled over. Uh, and in that regard, it collapses, but it doesn't mm -hmm. collapse, like I think in the true sense of the word collapse. Okay. Well, let me maybe tell you what the situation is, and you can tell me if maybe there's some other, some other solution I'm not thinking of here. Um, so we have an existing building with uh, doors that have a uh, half-inch saddle threshold right now, but we're getting some water infiltration. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to um, fix that uh, with some kind of a strip, uh, stop strip or a bumper threshold, um, but, you know, it needs, it needs to be ADA compliant and the doors, you know, are already installed. So we're already at a half inch, uh, which is the max for ADA. And so the only thing I can think of, which our um, accessibility specialist had mentioned, was some kind of a stop strip or some kind of piece that would you know, collapse under the wheels of a wheelchair, meaning it would not then increase that half inch max, if that makes mm -hmm. sense. Um, I mean, I don't, the only, the only other thing I can think of would be something that fits like actually on the door, like on the bottom portion of the door that could, um, you, know, you could use like a regular bumper threshold, but since the door's already cut, you've got a quarter inch gap. Is there some kind of a piece that adheres to the, to the bottom of the door that kind of you know, would fill in that quarter inch gap, but I don't know anything like that exists. And so I'm just kind of so, looking around. Yeah, so you you obviously have exterior openings. You've got a half inch saddle threshold and yep. you have, what's creating the seal from the bottom of the door to the threshold? Uh, well, we don't, we don't, we, we put in some sweeps to see if that would help, but that really hasn't helped much. I think the water is coming in uh, from what I'm hearing, from like the the frame, basically, it's kind of dripping down the frame. Right. And so for for two of the doors that don't need to be compliant, we're adding stop strips that you know uh, adhere onto the half inch saddle, and that's totally fine, and we can move forward with that. But on two other doors, we need those to be compliant. And I'm just kind of drawing a blank for what we can what we can do other than, you know, replacing the thresholds with a bumper threshold and, you know, reordering doors that can be cut for that, you know, typical quarter inch uh, 
cut that's necessary. Yeah, obviously reordering doors that are longer um, would solve the problem because right. then you could yeah. go with a, a you know, an ADA right. compliance bump up threshold. Exactly. The, um, so what needs to happen first is that drip caps must be added to the header. Yeah, so we have done that. And that's still allowing the water to pool at the bottom of the opening? Yes, yes. So I, I'm thinking that, you know, it's not just coming from the top. I think there's maybe some, you know, side-blowing wind and the rain is still getting into the frame, not just from the top, mm -hmm. but maybe from the sides and stripping down. Yeah. So have you considered a – what? Uh, what is the door made of? Uh, it's an aluminum – you know, in glass door. Ah. Um, have you considered an automatic door bottom? Uh, no. Surf surface mounted are, are not going to give you compliance with ADA, but if you could figure out a way to get one into the inverted bottom channel of that aluminum storefront door, um, you'll be able to create a seal, that's for sure. I don't think it's going to stop the problem, but you'll have a seal there. So what um is that here on your website somewhere I can look at what that is? Absolutely. Let me pull up a part number. Okay. And again, it'll have to be adapted, but I think it can be done. Uh okay. or maybe maybe it does, who knows. So part number would be 371A as an alpha. Mm -hmm. 371A. Okay. And when that comes up, just click on any of those that come up. Okay, automatic door bottom. Okay. So I'm looking at uh, a section here. Yeah, it's a cross section of uh, this funny okay, oh, okay, automatic. I'm down. Um, yeah, so, so that's is an this automatic. something that's added? Like this is something like the do – explain this to me because I'm, I'm new to this. So click buy now on the right hand side and let me know when the next page loads. Buy now. Uh not on buy the right now. side. Add to cart. Oh, okay, great. Add to cart. Uh scroll down and look at the uh okay. isometric drawing that's there. Okay, yep. Um gives you a better idea. Um you know, that one's gonna have um, potentially the ability to fit into that cavity a bit better at the bottom of the door or whatever you're going to need to do to accommodate it. There's another one that's the same concept that's intended for the inverted bottom channel on a, on a hollow metal door, and that's the 372A. Similar concept. So, me, so are you saying that the, the sort of like the bottom plate of the aluminum door frame is removed and this piece is fitted up inside of it? Of the door. It would go into the bottom of the area of the door. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Interesting. And then, um, and I guess, like I'm looking at that, that first one that I clicked on, it's showing, you know, one and three eighths inches wide, which I'd have to double check. And then it says one and a half inches tall. So, it, um, if I'm a quarter inch short of, you know, the store needs to be a quarter inch longer than it currently is, is there a, kind of an adjustment where you can determine that? Or is this vinyl sponge, vinyl piece, I don't see a, I don't see a measurement for that piece. Is that? So uh, when you see that inch and three eighths wide and then inch and a half tall, you're seeing it in its relaxed state. So okay. imagine you're standing at the door and you take your fingers and you sneak them underneath the bottom of the door and then stick your fingers mm -hmm. up into the aluminum channel that's there. That mm -hmm. inch and a half is how far up your fingers would have to go at a minimum to be able to give it something to be screw attached to. One, one, one and a half inch, okay. Yeah, and then that 3D dimensional representation shows it a bit more expanded. Um, so it'll so go are, from inch that, and a half. Are those like coils? So are, it, does that kind of pop up and down? Is it like adjustable? Think of an accordion. Okay, 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 I got it, yeah. 
and it'll go from That's inch and a half down to two two and a quarter inch. It'll ex it'll drop down three quarter inch depending on how how it's set. Okay. So it goes. Oh, sorry, it goes from one and a half inches to you said two inches. No. Two and a quarter. But think of it. It goes quarter. from zero, and it will drop a maximum of three quarter inch. So it'll easily okay. handle your quarter inch requirement. Oh, okay. Interesting. I did not know this thing existed. That's great. Okay. Yeah. And as your, um, as your ADA specialist would tell you, you can't have one surface mounted, which would be super easy. That will encroach into the clear opening as well. Um, so the, the mortise style like this may work, um, or it'll help, but I think there's still going to be water. So Where, Where's the job? It's in uh, College Station, Texas. Okay. They've been getting a lot of rain. So, yeah, I was gonna, you know, you're saying this. I'm thinking, you know, Gulf Coast of Florida. I'm thinking <laughs> areas of horizontal rain. Yeah, I'm. I think about that. So, so when you say not surface mounted, right? This is the recess mount that exactly. I'm looking at right now. Because the surface mounted would not be ADA, you're saying? It would not be. Um, interpretation of ADA would prohibit the surface application. Um, and the reason I had asked what door type it was, because if it was wood, you could surface mount it, but you would mortise the face of the door, provided it wasn't fire rated, and then you could make it mm -hmm. flush. Um, mm -hmm. You know, the code is clear um, regarding, you know, governing this, and that would be outside of what would be permissible. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you ever notice when you're in ho uh, hotels, you'll never see a surface-mounted door bo uh, automatic door bottom. You, you oh, see no. them, but it's not, it's not handicap compliant, so <laughs> yeah, you don't see them yeah. in the ADA rooms. Huh. So, so this version, recess mount into the glass aluminum doors, uh, would take up that quarter inch that we were missing, and then we would add in sort of a typical ADA bumper threshold. Um, uh, no, I don't. I, I think you would stick with your saddle that you have now. Stick with the saddle. Oh. And this so, would just seal up to the top of the existing saddle. Okay, and is this this seems I mean because I like I mentioned we we already tried installing uh, these door sweeps that basically did nothing. Is this more of a robust solution, or how does that how does this kind of compare to like an interior door sweep that they've tried and had, well, hasn't seemed to to do much? Yeah, when you look at the bottom end of that, you're going to have all that surface area potentially making contact with your sill. So you've got a ton yeah. of surface area. I, I, I happen to be in the Gulf Coast of Florida. It's not going to stop oh. horizontal rain is the bottom line. Mm -hmm. will, it, will it stop occasional rain? Yes, of course. But door sweeps and whatnot, they're not meant when the, when it gets up 30 miles and above, it's you know, I've seen water come in here with interlocking thresholds. It just gets in. I mean, when we mm -hmm. had Irma here, it completely ruined condos on the first, water damage on first and second floor. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Hmm. But you have to put something there. That's the bottom line. So how – let me just – let me ask you this question. Um So okay, so with so with the sat so with our existing half inch saddle threshold, we would still add this just to just to basically seal. I mean, it's already cut for this half inch thresh threshold. So adding this piece would just kind of help seal the bottom. Yeah. So this would mount into the door, and mm -hmm. when the door closes. There's a mechanism that gets depressed um, mm -hmm. and forces that bottom to drop down to the 
length that the mechanism that governs that is set to and will give you a seal across the top of your saddle threshold. So, I mean, if the seal, if the, the level of drop is like, I mean, I don't know what it is. It's definitely less than a quarter of an inch. It's, who knows, it's an, an eighth of an inch, a sixteenth of an inch. I don't really know what it is that would that would help to seal this that would sort of take the place of like a like a like a bumper threshold am i understanding that right well um it's a seal that would be provided underneath the door since you can't mm -hmm. have a bumper style or a bump up style threshold without replacing the doors um, right right it may not may not be part of the conversation yeah I guess I'm just wondering, um, you know, do you do this, this automatic door bottom in conjunction with a bumper threshold? Does that get you any closer to avoiding sort of the infiltration of horizontal rain? Absolutely. Or is that, so, yeah. Yeah. I use the term belt and suspenders approach. If it was me, right. <laughs> I'd have a bump up, I'd have an automatic door bottom, and I'd have a sweep on the opposite side, and I would do some of that interlocking. The issue is you've got, you know, A117 to to comply with. So <laughs> that's the problem. <laughs> and that's the problem. That's, so I, that's the restriction. Right. So I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that if we did an automatic door bottom, a recessed mount, you know, with a new bumper threshold so that automatic door bottom would come down that quarter inch and then it would basically uh, just stop at that bumper up against that bumper threshold and that would kind of be belt and suspenders there yes your your so your bumper um is going to give you that first line of defense the automatic door bottom these doors swing in i imagine uh, they actually all swing out. Okay. So the bumper would be the worst place to have the line of defense in the sense that it's already on the interior of the door. Right. Um, the automatic door bottom at least will stop it, hopefully, once it's gotten to the bottom of the door. What you would really want to do is look at the part number um, in your search box. S as in Sierra, 252A. Okay, one second. Okay. And when you look at that, it's, you know, in this scenario, we're not trying to be handicap compliant, but you could have mm -hmm. your bumper your automatic door bottom would seal against that flat plateau and then that leading edge you would then attach an, uh, a hook strip to so you'd have three points of contact where you are mm -hmm. you're doing everything under the sun then at that point you'd still add a drip cap to the outside face of the door itself to help drive mm -hmm. it from even getting to the top of the bump up area so that's mm -hmm. that's the one-two punch wow that's robust. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure where we're at at this point in terms of wanting to do the one, the one two punch or just yeah. kind of, you know, we, you know, this is college station. I guess we are getting some, some horizontal rain up there, but, you know, it, it, we're not on the coast. We're not in Corpus Christi or, or Houston. Right. Um, But yeah, I mean, I agree with what you're saying that the bumper threshold is, is you're already inside the building. And so going back to that automatic door bottom, and again, I would just have to make sure that, I guess you've got several, several listed in your catalog, but that at the bottom we've got this one and a half inch um, minimum. Uh, in order for it to be installed. And I guess that's, that's flush, right? One it would be flush at that point. Flush yeah. to the bottom. 
and then it can extend from there. Another three quarter inch. And then there was that 372A part number I gave. It's the same concept, but it's going to, that inch and a half dimension is going to turn into something smaller, um, which is three quarter inch. Well, actually, in your case, it would be closer to inch and a 30 second. 372A. That's right. Gives a better cross section of it as well. Makes it, at least for me, it's easier to understand. So, oh, for hollow metal doors. Yeah, but right. you know, similar yeah. concept. Right, but for our glass and aluminum doors, that other 371A, one of those would be the appropriate. Maybe, uh, it depends all on the construction of the aluminum door. Your aluminum guy might say, I, I have no way to install this. You know, I can't cut the door like that. They'd have to. They'd have to see this cut sheet. Right. Okay. And so, sorry, I'm just reading through here. Okay. And so if we were just going to do automatic door bottom with a bumper threshold, do you have a part number for your bumper thresholds? Uh, one that's handicap compliant? Yes. Um, let's take a look. The answer is yes. Let me pull it up. Mm -hmm. uh, it would be um, S483A. Okay. Okay, and these are, yeah, a quarter inch and then for a total of half an inch. Okay. So do these both work together then? The S, or yeah, this one I'm looking at, the S48 3A and the 371A? Those two can work together, sure. So it's the bumper and automatic door mount. Okay. So I guess I just need to find out from the door manufacturer um, if they can accommodate this automatic door mount. Yeah. Okay. And, and if that person has questions, tell them to call me. Okay. Do you have a, a, a direct line by chance? Or? Sure. Yeah, it's 239. Mm-hmm. Three one five. Mm -hmm. Seven eight eight nine. And mm -hmm. if I've not already said it, I should have. My name is Richard. Richard. Okay. And I'm an uh, architectural builders supply. Okay, great. Um and then these, all these models are just, they're all the same, but they're just different lengths, right? That's what I'm In my site, at. yeah, you'll you'll see the last two digits. It just defines the length. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Um, and so, I mean, I just want to make sure I haven't left anything off. Are there any other possible solutions? Um, that you would have for this for this issue of kind of being short by that quarter of an inch and needing to be ADA compliant and all that, or is this, this seems like it's probably um, yeah, it, it's everything that I can think of, um, and you know the the requirement to comply with with ADA right. is it it there it leaves us no wiggle room. Um, right, right. Okay. Well, great. Um, I really appreciate your help on this. Awesome. I'm glad you called. Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye. Architectural Builders Supply hopes you have enjoyed this program.
Again, thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.